finish my coffee here and head on out to see my mom. Well, hey guys, happy Saturday. So I woke up this morning and I did my blog a lot. I also went on my little meditative walk, but I didn't film that. And then skincare routine wise, I am rocking four layers of a Japanese sunscreen, excuse me, four layers of sunscreen today, just because I felt like it. I put on the, um, let's see if I can get my order down right. I put on Nivea, then I put on Biore, then I put on Shiseido Senka, and then I put on CeraVe AM. I am totally enjoying that Cera, <clears throat> that, Excuse me, I got a frog in my throat. I'm totally enjoying that Shiseido Senka um, UV uh, sunscreen, um, the aging one. I really like it. It does have a fragrance to it that is off-putting, however, um, and if you don't like the smell of sunscreen, you won't like it. Um, it's slightly more moisturizing, though, than the other ones, um, so I, I'm enjoying it. But yeah, I did that, and I'm just sipping on my beauty dust. Um, so today, actually, um, I'm gonna go over to my mom's house and we're gonna cook up that tofu. I'm gonna cook the tofu for her, and then I guess uh, she purchased some uh, Daya, I think I'm saying that right, Daya macaroni and cheese in a box. We, like, that's not really something we've ever eaten before, box macaroni and cheese, but she made a macaroni and cheese salad with it because we wanted to try it. I've never had it before. Um, so I think she made that. We're gonna have that and uh, tofu uh, romaine wraps, I think. So we'll show you how that comes out. Well, hey guys, I'm here at my mom's house and we're about to make the tofu. Hi so everybody, happy just, Saturday. <laughs> she just preheated the oven to 350 degrees. And I'm just gonna make the tofu like you guys have seen me do in prior vlogs, wherein I just uh, cut it up into cubes and season it with some seasoning and spray it with a little nonstick and put it on a baking sheet and bake it at 350 degrees for like 30 to 40 minutes. All right, so my mom just went ahead and drained the tofu here in his salad stove. That was smart. I don't always do that, but. Um, and this is the firm tofu that I get at Costco. All right, so I just um, sprayed a um, baking sheet lined with aluminum foil for easy cleanup with a little bit of this. Um, this is my mom's cooking spray here, the Naturally Light Coconut Cooking Spray, nonstick. And um, then I just spray the tofu with a little bit of it to give it a coconutty flavor. And then these are the spices that we're gonna be using. Cinnamon, ground garlic, and some of my turmeric chai elixir. You could also, you could really use anything. Mrs. Dash works great. And then some black pepper. And so the way I do this is to just Liberally dust the seasoning on. <laughs> But it really tastes good because it's got a little bit of coconut um, milk powder in there. Um, that gives it kind of a sweetiness. And it's got some chai spices, so. Now all of our sides are coated, and so we're gonna just put it in the oven at 350 degrees for 30 to 45 minutes. All right, in they go. And this is the Daya macaroni and cheese we're gonna try today. So my mom went ahead and made that up. Um, so we're having that, and yeah. So while, the, while our tofu is baking, I'm gonna make a little apple slaw dressing. So this is the peanut butter that my mom has. And so I'm just gonna take like, so I'm just gonna get like a tablespoon of peanut butter. And I'm just gonna nuke this in the microwave so it gets liquidy. <clears throat> my mom obviously has a better cutting board than me, but I like these little um, mats you've got. They're really yeah. handy dandy. Where'd I know, those? Uh, Dollar Tree. So I just, get, you get two for a dollar. Oh really? I just chopped up uh, an apple here, just kind of roughly. And peanut butter came out. The peanut butter came out of the um, microwave. I just nuked it for like 30 seconds, and you can see it's getting drippy. Um, and so now I'm just going to add some apple cider vinegar. I'm going to add about two or three tablespoons. 
to your tang, tang level. I like it tangy. But the apple cider vinegar obviously goes pretty well with the apples and it'll prevent mm -hmm. them from getting brown. Um, but then the peanut kind of dilutes it. And then I'm just gonna mix in a little cinnamon. Give them a shake, 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 shake. So that'll go in our um, in our romaine wraps as soon as they're ready. Oh look, guys! My mom has uh, these cute little. Uh, she makes these beaded. Oops. Sorry. She makes these beaded uh, cross stitch. Um, they're usually kits for what pins, but you've converted yours into magnets. Yeah. These are so cute. She's got an apple, watermelon, pumpkin. Look how cute the cat is. And then this is a pumpkin that I made out of uh, Sculpey when I was a child. So Those are cute. Thank I like you. the way you did that. Yeah, the apple is going to be my go-to scent for September. Your go-to? Yeah, is that what you're burning? Yeah, transition into fall pumpkin. I'm not going to do pumpkin this month. Oh, okay. You just put a big Yankee candle hall in. a big Yankee candle hall. If I can restrain myself, it might be fun to open it yeah. together on yeah. camera if yeah. people are interested. Yeah, yeah. Candle Cafe, you guys. And Mr. Kong's mom. Both of those are very good. Yeah, yeah. Candle enablers, I should say. Yeah, Candle Cafe mm -hmm. really gives an accurate um, description. He's really got good a new video where he reviews the, the pear spiced one. pear. Yeah. I haven't watched that yet. I watched that the other day. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was good. And our tofu came out of the oven. It doesn't look like much here on the pan, but um, once that's done, once that cools a little bit, we'll put it into romaine cups with our apple peanut slaw, and that'll be delicious. My mom's heating up her uh, Daya macaroni and cheese gamish. So yeah, cooking in the kitchen with mom. This too. Oh yeah. Three of these little guys. Yeah. Well, two and then one quarter. Yeah. Poor little bees. Well, I mean. But you know, it's a process. Yeah. You can't do it overnight. Yeah, yeah. But you're not really a big meat eater to begin with, or no. um, a heavy. You do like cheese. Painless. You do like cheese. <clears throat> yes, I do. I oh, let me show them something else. Just in case I had to crave Oh, the how is that? Um, <clears throat> it's, it's pretty good. All right. I haven't tried melting it. I don't know how that works. Okay. Okay. Let's do a yeah, because after that documentary, I want to avoid case, casein or casein or whatever it is. Because it yeah, just. Yeah, it tastes like shredded cheese. And they have different flavors. So They've got. Coconut milk, uh, coconut cream, <clears throat> palm yeah. oil. And navy bean flour and potato protein. Is it this, is actually good. this is actually really good. And does it have a lot of calories? 90 calories in a serving. No, it's, it's comparable to low fat cheese, you know, to cheese. It's comparable to cheese in terms of the. Uh, you know, this would be good on popcorn. Oh, it, it, it doesn't have too much sodium, 8% for cheese. I'm not a big cheese eater, so that was never hard for me to. To give up, but this does taste like shredded cheese. How does it melt? Have you tried melting? I haven't tried melting it yet. That's the ultimate test. But yeah. This is a good one. This is some superior. Maybe we, yeah, we could maybe try to melt a little yeah. on the mac and cheese. This one's good. All right. I'm glad you approve. All right. Well, everything came out, and here's how the lettuce wraps came out. Um, want to hold yours up? Oh wow, so that's how everything came out. You've got your lettuce wraps there with the tofu and the apple and then your... And now you can see. I put some pepper on top and a little bit of um, peas and carrots down on the bottom just to boost it a bit. Mmm, that's good. Enjoy. Go ahead and try it because the battery's going to run out. Oh, we don't want to lose the battery. Okay, here we go everybody. Mmm. I'm gonna try some of the. Oh, that chai tone. It's good. It really kicks it up a notch. Yeah, it tastes good on I'm there, right? I'm glad you put that on there. Yeah, it's good. Oh, I like this. 
<laughs> and I'm gonna try the diet. Mmm. It does taste like macaroni and cheese. With the apple in there too. That's good. Is the pasta in that um, just regular pasta or is it? <clears throat> no, it's brown rice pasta. Oh, okay. I've never yeah. had brown rice pasta, but it does taste pretty good. Yeah, you have to be careful not to over. Yeah. We're gonna look at the fall stuff at uh, Michael's. Look, they've got the uh, crafty pumpkins out here for sale. I don't know how I feel about these scarecrows. They're a little odd looking. <laughs> Apparently, rock painting is uh, what they're selling here. But I've been looking for some paint for my jar lids. But I'm <clears throat> thinking that acrylic paint would probably just peel right off. So I don't know about that. New candles. Resist. I don't need any more candles. But I'm gonna sniff. Because I can't help myself. I like the tops of these candles. I like when the jars have a flat top. Ooh, apple pie is re really good. Baked apple pie. What are you doing? Five for $10. Oh no. Oh guys. Hey right is really good too. They're five for ten dollars. They're that really nice. Smell the pumpkin Macintosh. Well that is nice. Oh, they're really good. Why don't you get some? And hay rides. I'm having a stroke. Ooh, I oh I don't care for this one. You don't like hay ride? How's no, cozy like apple pie? Oh, you don't? See, I thought baked apple pie was good. It actually smells like baking apple pie as opposed to just that soup. I think fragrance-wise, at least in smelling the, the lids, these kind of trump uh, bath oh, and body works. call it on cold? Yeah. House Fall Festival. It does it's not as good as clear. the Tuscany candle autumnal one that I've got going. Hi, everybody. What, what do you think of that one? I like this one. This is a fall festival. Mm. This is a good deal. Yeah, five candles for ten dollars. I feel like I have to. I feel like I have to. Yeah, just to get the jars. <laughs> My mom's looking for spider rings. That's what you're. Yeah, yeah, just some little plastic spiders. And you have a ooh, door decoration. Oh. Oh look, they have little beakers. I don't know. They got all the Halloween stuff. This is not vegan. <laughs> My mom's pointing out that the toad <laughs> stew is not a. Toad stew is not vegan. I want some of these. No, oh, don't oh, buy them here. They're a ripoff here. Yeah. Well, they're thirty percent off. Seven ninety nine. That's uh. My mom's looking fifty percent off the Halloween ribbon. Yeah, but I need Christmas ribbon. Oh yeah, wait till that Except goes on this sale. Might work. Yeah. Oh, for your uh, for the wreath. your jazzy wreath. Yeah, you could use that. Let's see here. That'd be a dollar fifty. This is Halloween. We get another green. Should I introduce Sylvia? Okay, I got it. I just, I just. Well, that's a, a neutral enough uh, holiday jazzy color that you could use it for something else if it doesn't work out. I would just get the red. The green doesn't really look Christmassy unless you're doing but like a the, this color green on some of the doing, ribbon. Oh, okay. Look, I, I love the red truck with stuff in the back, and they've got an autumnal one. How cute is that? That yeah, is cute. Remember that tree in New York that had all the little elf feet? Yeah, out? yeah. See, this is where if you, this is the color scheme you're going for, like the Grinch stole Christmas kind of color scheme with. Then, then that lime green that you had yeah, would go good, one go of well. The ribbons has that green in it. Yeah, then, then it would go well. I'm yeah. gonna get it. Yeah, get, get it. They have 
have these little pom poms. They remind me of uh, the Nutcracker snow scene. Strike a pose, <laughs> ballet dancer. <laughs> I love the Nutcracker. I mean, it's by it's it's by far like not the best ballet in the world, but it's the most festive. That movie, oh, uh -huh. Mother. Yeah. It, it's by the director of Black Swan. Oh yeah. All of their little terrarium stuff is on sale. Look how Christmas sweet village. he is. Oh yeah, you've got it, your Christmas village. Yeah, my mom does a really cute Christmas village. You used to do a Halloween one, but yeah, you, you let some of that Yeah, I my Halloween houses yeah. on Craigslist. So stay tuned for that, guys. Oh, look at reindeer <laughs> stables. That's cute. Guys, check out this bus. <laughs> How pretty is that? This is like a uh, live out of your car thing, an art car. A Museum of Fine Art promotion. How cool! Submarine there on the side, and the Beatles. <laughs> Um, I just got back from hanging out with my mom, went to the gym, and took a shower, so uh, we had a fun time together. No, I didn't buy anything in, uh, in Hobby Lobby while those can or sorry, Michael's, while those candles were a really good deal and smelled fantastic, um, the line in there was so dreadfully long that the savings um, didn't justify the cost of my time. <laughs> um, my time, it, you know, you have to remember your time is valuable, so I, uh, I, we just, skipped purchasing anything in there and for whatever reason there seems to be an allergy kick up I don't know if you can detect my eyes are a little watery so I apologize for that no I'm not crying um, at all it's just oh there is some allergen in in the atmosphere that has got me needing an antihistamine but um, as the weather is cooling off speaking of Carol um, in terms of sun protection in you may think this is odd, but I'm actually not the best at putting sunscreen on my body. For the most part, I rely on physical means like long sleeve shirts and that sort of thing. But, you know, sometimes I really just want to wear a tank top. And to be honest with you all, while I am like pretty on top of reapplying sunscreen to my face, I'm not so great about applying it to the body. And sometimes I find myself in a pinch where I really want to take off like my sweatshirt or something and I'm outdoors. And so I want to get in the habit of being a little bit better about sun protection, uh, exogenous, you know, uh, cream based sun protection on my body because, you know, as it's getting cooler, I actually want to be outside more. The past few months have just been so dreadfully hot. Although if we've got some kind of allergen flare up, I don't know how how well I'm gonna fare outdoors. Um, but uh, anyways, so this is a sunscreen for the body that I really love and just pulled out of my arsenal. And I'm gonna start being more conscientious about applying. You guys actually pointed this one out to me. This is the Neutrogena Sheer Zinc Dry Touch Sunscreen, SPF 50. This is a physical sunscreen um, that uh, is effective as far as sun protection immediately once applied you don't need to wait 20 minutes for it to set up so it's good when you're in a pinch you know what I mean where you're like oh I want to take my top off but you know it's not my top off God, that sounds terrible I want to take my uh, sweatshirt off and it's sunny out you know um, this is a good one I think to have it at your disposal to just slap on uh, because it, it does provide uh, sun protection immediately um, this only contains zinc oxide. Um, ingredients in this that you might ask me about um, as far as pore clog ability are things like glycerin and dimethicone and methicone, uh, cetyl dimethicone. No, those are not comedogenic ingredients. People will say they break them out and that they clog their pores, um, and that has just not been demonstrated. That, uh, you know, is consumer reported. So I can never, ever, ever, ever predict if a product is going to break someone out. I just can't. Um, there's just no 
there's no magic formula to that because a variety of things can lead to a breakout. But this one is really good in the sense that the sunscreen ingredients not only are effective immediately, but they tend to be um, ingredients, you know, this is zinc, the other one that could be in a physical sunscreen is titanium dioxide. These ingredients are low irritancy potential. They don't uh, really cause skin allergy, you know, people don't develop allergies to them like they do many of the chemical filters, namely like our Ava Benzone. So it's good in that regard. However, another problem with these, um, especially if you're a darker skin type, they don't blend in very nicely and cosmetically elegant. So, you know, that's what makes chemical sunscreens, you know, somewhat more desirable for the face, uh, that they blend in a little bit easy, more easily. But I find that this one um, blends in pretty good. It is kind of thick and filmy. Here, I'll just do an unbacking here for you. Um, but you folks in the UK and, and Europe and elsewhere in the world, um, I know it's hard for you guys to find uh, like exclusively physical sunscreens. Um, I actually don't know of it. I'm, I'm racking my brain to come up with a European, like an international sunscreen that is zinc based other than the Australian one, uh, the clear zinc one that I've tried out. That would be another good one for the body. I don't know how readily available that is here. Let me go grab it so I can show you guys. Yeah, this clear zinc one, um, SPF 50, this uh, is uh, zinc, but it also has a few chemical filters in it as well. But this would be, a, this is a fantastic one for the body. I don't know, Europeans, Japanese folks, people in other countries, besides the U.S., how, can you get this? This is an Australian sunscreen um, that my good friend sent to me. So um, comment below on if this Key Sun brand is available. I think this is a good one for the body to try out, you know, maybe comparable to what Neutrogena is offering. But I'm going to be toting these guys around as I uh, try and get a little better about putting some sunscreen on, like, you know, my body areas. But anyways, guys, um, while I'm not actually crying, um, my heart does go out to anyone who is continuing to be affected or, ha you know, has been affected by the recent weather, you know, and nightmares that are occurring everywhere, uh, you know, in, in Florida and uh, with Irma and Puerto Rico, um, wherever you are, you know, I, I'm really, really honestly thinking of you and to tear, you know, I'm, I'm waiting and, and, and hoping. So, you know, there's a saying, you know, this too shall pass. So um, I just wanted to let you guys know that I'm really, really thinking of you um, and, uh, you know, you're not, not alone and, and this too shall pass. So um, I hope you're doing well. I hope my, if you're able to watch my videos uh, that they bring you some uh, joy and so... With that, give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and as always, don't forget, sunscreen and subscribe. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye.